Hello everyone and welcome to Streams of Wealth. In this video I will show you how I am trading M's and W's. Uh, this is my M and W's trading strategy for 2021. And to be honest with you, I was recording video and it took me 10 minutes. I choose random pair. I choose random uh, time, I get back in time and play uh, on this replay mode and for 10 minutes I did not find some perfect setup. So I will do it for this video to show you the perfect setup and then I can do another video or a laugh video when I see some perfect setup for this. But in this video I get back and find out the perfect setup and explain to you what I am looking for or how I am trading M's and W's. So, first of all, this uh, indicator, as you can see, these colors, green and red, it is, this green is London session and this red is New York session. Now this um, gray is Asian session and I do not trade in Asian session. I am trading M's and W's only in uh, London and New York. So what I am waiting for is when we see that Asian session is the best thing is if it's moving sideways and then it, move, then it makes some strong move to the upside or to the downside. Now when it makes that strong move to the upside or to the downside, I'm waiting when it form the M or W pattern. I am on 5 minute time frame and I'm using 5 minute time frame for this. So when it forms some M and W pattern like this, it's not perfect. Don't expect it to be perfect, but it is M. Then I'm looking at this TDA indicator. I made uh, one video about TDA indicator for scalping. It's also very good and I recommend it. Uh, TDA indicator, as I said in the video, can be used for many more things, not just a scalping. It can be used very well to spot M's and W's. Because usually the TDA indicators forms M's and W's and just by watching it, you can use it as a confirmation. Uh, also, I'm looking for divergence. If you don't know what is divergence, it's basically the price on the chart is making higher highs and higher lows, but the indicator is making lower highs and lower lows. So, in this setup, as we can see the Asian session and then we can see strong move to the upside and we form this M pattern. Now this is not divergence because we can see that it makes higher high and lower high and indicators is also making higher high and lower high but we are on this 75 mm, 75 position and that say that is saying me that it most likely will be going down so if i have this confluences i see m pattern i see it's on 75 and i see it's moving down then this is a good setup for m pattern the stops and it uh, the same would be if it was if it was strong move to the downside with W pattern, the stops of course above the highs of this M pattern target one to two and as you can see we hit this. Now I know that this is uh, on replay mode 
but like I said I can make this randomly and I will do another video when I'm checking it randomly or, or see or waiting for this perfect setup but like I said I was doing video that took 10 minutes and I did not find the perfect setup so for this video I'm just explaining it how I'm doing it so now I will pause the video and find another setup and a, another setup i found as you can see the asian session moving sideways and now we start with london strong move to the downside and people think in this situation that it's some breakout london breakout it can be but they are doing it or you can see if you go on your charts in the past that it is making this strong move to the upside or to the downside making m or w pattern and reverse so that's why i am looking for this start of the london session or new york for m's and w's so as you can see we start forming a pattern w pattern and this is the perfect setup because we can see that it is making lower highs and lower lows but the indicator is showing higher highs and higher low so that is divergence so we have strong move to the downside we have w pattern we have divergence this is very good for w so we put our stops below target one to two and as you can see we almost hit our stop loss however we did not break the low so that you can confirm that this was a strong w pattern that's why you put your stop losses to uh, or below this W or M formation and as you can see we hit this so this is again perfect setup and again I am always waiting for the perfect setup so don't just think that I am looking or waiting or watching these past results for perfect setup even if you are alive you are waiting for perfect setup if you don't see it you don't trade it's simple as that you have to see the perfect setup you have so unless in life i'm seeing that we have london uh, session strong move to the upside to the downside unless i see that that strong move made m or w pattern and unless i see there is a divergence on my tda indicator it's uh, the best is if it's uh, close to 25 or 75 or rsi i see divergence then i make the trade only then if i don't see it i'm not doing it so it doesn't matter for me if i'm doing it past i am waiting on this uh, the same thing i'm doing in life so this week i will uh, trade it only and only and only if i see the perfect setup so yes maybe i don't i will not see it this week so if i don't see it i will not trade it there is no or there is nothing more to be said so this was a uh, quick video uh, i don't know how much minute uh, this video have but i hope you get the point if you have any questions ask me below if you want me to make a live video then i will do it when i see it this week and if you want me to explain this more then i will explain it however these are three confluences that i'm looking asian session best if it's moving sideways then we see when star when london session starts some strong move to the upside or some strong move to the downside 
to the downside i'm looking for w pattern and on the upside of course m pattern the best is if it's doing at least a little bit lower low but indicator is displaying higher low the best is if uh, this green line is close to 25 or 75 on the rsi And then this is very good setup to trade M's and W's on five minute time frame. So I hope this video was helpful. M's and W's patterns, you can see it on your chart. It doesn't matter if it's on five minutes, one hour, one day, one week, one month, you can see it all the time. It's just making M's and W's as you can see always uh, and my method is only for london session new york session i do not trade it on asian session only in these specific condition best is if it's moving sideways strong upside to the downside m's w's and this is how i'm trading m's and w's so that's it for this video if you like this video if this video helps you give a like to this video if not give a dislike if uh, you are interested in streams of wealth in being wealthy not just a rich but wealthy in more guides more tips not only about forex subscribe to this channel i will be posting a lot more helpful guides helpful videos if you have any question or if you want me to explain something, I can explain it to you at least uh, from my point of view how I see the markets and how I'm doing it, my approach. Alright, so that is for this video and goodbye.